Welcome to the world of Mixed CG Arts. Today, we'll dive into the exciting process of creating a procedural rust material in Blender. Right now, I'm situated in the shading workspace, ready to guide you through the steps. Now, click the new button to add a material to the object. Let's press Shift A to access the node menu. Afterward, hit the S key to reveal the search bar, and in the search bar, type Glossy BSDF to locate the node we need. Now, to continue our work, we'll need to insert a mix shader node between the principled and glossy shader nodes. But here's a neat trick, you can do this without opening the add menu. Hold down the Shift and Control keys, then click and drag your mouse from one shaded node to another. This action will automatically insert a mix shader node between both nodes. Press Shift A and press S to open search bar again. Now add a texture coordinate node. And add a noise texture. Switch the 3D to 4D in the noise texture. Select both nodes and press F to join them. Hold Ctrl and Shift and then click to view the node. I'm going to use the object option instead of generated in the texture coordinate. Let's boost the W value in the noise texture. Hold down Ctrl and Shift keys, then click again to view the second node. Now add a vector math node. Set it to subtract mode. Set all three values to 0.5. Press Shift D to duplicate. Set it to multiply mode. Let's add a value node. Increase the value. Press Shift D to duplicate. Connect the node from the object output of the texture coordinate node to the vector math node. Set it to add mode. Hold Ctrl and Shift and then click to view the node. Change the value to 0.1. Press Shift D to duplicate. Connect the value node to the scale input. Increase the value to 10. This time, let's add a math node instead of the vector math node. Configure it to divide mode. Connect the value node to the math node's value input. Increase the second value to 2. Raise the second value to 75. Select these five nodes. Now, press Ctrl G to create a group with these selected nodes. Press N to open side menu bar. In the group menu, you'll see all three nodes join with a group node. Let's change the name of the last node in the group menu. Now, press Tab to exit the group menu. Select both nodes. Press Delete key to delete. You can now modify the value on the group node. Press Tab to enter the group node. Here, connect the W value from the noise texture to the group node. Similarly, attach the details and distortion values as well. Now press N to open side menu bar. Move the scale value under the W value. Now, press Tab to exit the group menu. Press Shift A and press S to open search bar again. Let's add another noise texture node. Switch the 3D to 4D in the noise texture. Hold down Ctrl and Shift keys, then click again to view the first node. Increase the W value in the noise texture to 10. Set the scale value on the group node to 6.5. Also, modify the strength value on the group node to 5. 
Adjust the details value to 4. Make changes to the W value. Adjust the strength of the node group accordingly. Let's add a map range node. Modify the map range node by setting the from min value to 0.45 and the from max value to 0.55. Let's add a value node. Now press N to open side menu bar. Change the label of the value node to amount. Press Shift D to duplicate. Now, change the label of the second value node to spread. Update the amount value to 1. And the spread value to 0.05. Add a math node. Switch it to divide mode. Connect the spread value to the math node. Change the math node value to 2. Press Shift D to duplicate. Modify the upper math node to add and the lower node to subtract. Now connect the nodes as indicated. I have mistakenly added the wrong values to both of the math nodes. Let's switch them on both. Continue connecting the nodes. Adjust the amount value to 0.5. Press Shift D to duplicate. For this particular math node, switch the upper node to the lower position and set the upper value to 1. Continue adjusting the values as demonstrated. Let's add the mapping node. Let's add a value node. Connect the value node to the scale input. Increase the value to 1. Press Shift D to duplicate. Switch it to divide mode. Raise the value to 100. Press Shift D to duplicate. Increase the amount value to 50. Let's increase the spread value. Press G to move. Now that the mask nodes are completed, let's begin creating the rust material. Press Shift D to duplicate. Connect the vector output from the mapping node to the vector input of the node group. Hold Ctrl and Shift and then click to view the node. Continue adjusting the values as demonstrated. Let's add another mapping node. Connect both mapping nodes. Adjust the Z value on the mapping node to 0.05. Let's add noise texture node. Select both nodes and press F to join them. Hold Ctrl and Shift and then click to view the node. Increase the scale value to 240. Add a math node. Set it to subtract mode. Press Shift D to duplicate. Set it to multiply mode. Change the value to 0.1. Now add a vector math node. Now connect the nodes as indicated. Hold Ctrl and Shift and then click to view the node. 
Now, let's add a combine XYZ node. Set it to Z value. Press G to move. Let's add noise texture node. Now, add a separate color node. Hold down both the control and shift keys, then click repeatedly to view the next node. Add a color ramp node. Now connect the nodes as indicated. Hold down both the control and shift keys, then click repeatedly to view the next node. Press G to move. Move the left slider about halfway to the left. Position the right slider close to the left slider. Continue making adjustments to the sliders. Let's add mix RGB node. Convert float to color. Attach color to factor. Now connect the nodes as indicated. Press Shift D to duplicate. Hold Ctrl and Shift and then click to view the node. Press G to move. Continue connecting the nodes. Press Shift D to duplicate. Continue adjusting the values as demonstrated. Add a Voronoi texture node. Hold down both the Control and Shift keys, then click repeatedly to view the next node. Increase the scale value on the noise texture. Add a Math node. On the math node change the add to power mode. Raise the exponent to 2. Add a color ramp node. Adjust the slider accordingly. Add a math node. Set it to multiply mode. Change the value to 0.1. Let's modify the value. Press Shift D to duplicate. Now connect the nodes as indicated. Hold Ctrl and Shift and then click to view the node. Set it to subtract mode. Add a color ramp node. Let's include additional sliders and assign colors to them to create rust material.
Let's connect the color ramp to the principled BSDF. Hold Ctrl and Shift and then click to view the node. Let's adjust and fine-tune some values on the principled BSDF. Let's add bump node. Let's decrease the distance. Let's connect these mask nodes to the mix shader. Connect the map range node to the factor input of the mix shader node. Attach the glossy shader to the mix shader node. Let's make some adjustments to various nodes to achieve a more realistic and believable rust effect. Press Shift D to duplicate. Fine tune the node to a lower value. Connect the map range node to the math node. Set it to multiply mode. Increase the amount value. To achieve even better results, let's replace the noise texture with a Voronoi texture for more realistic effects. Press X to delete. Increase the value. Let's add an invert color node. You can now modify the value on the group node. Fine-tune the spread value as needed. Let's adjust the amount value. Let's add a RGB curves node. Let's make some adjustments to the curve node. <laughs> 